how to reverse a stack using recursion so this is a very interesting problem and in this problem we have to write a code to reverse a stack using recursion and for solving this problem we don't have to use any loop constructs for while etc or any additional data structures so we have given a stack of integers and we have to write a code to reverse this stack of integers and we have to do it recursively we are allowed to use stack methods such as push pop and is empty to solve this problem now let's see how we can solve this problem using recursion i hope you have tried to solve this problem yourself first and now let's discuss its recursive implementation and before discussing its implementation let's discuss few important points the first point is we know in a stack the element which we pushed at last is the first element to be popped out what it means is when we do the pop operation first one is popped out then again when we do the pop operation then two then three then four like this so what it means it it follows last and first out order given a stack of integers and once we reverse all the values of a stack it will be arranged like this four three two one so what it means is first we have to pop all the values of a stack recursively until the stack is empty and once we popped out all the values of a stack then the next step is to insert each values one by one at the bottom of the stack and uh, so you will understand both the points shortly and to solve this problem we need to use two recursive function so in first uh, in first function we uh, popped out all the values of a stack one by one until the stack becomes empty and in second function we insert each values one by one at the bottom of the stack so when we popped out all the values of a stack it will be so first we get one then we get two then we get three then we get four now we get all the values but we can't put them as it is what happens if we put them as it is so if we put as it is then again first we pushed four then we pushed three then we pushed two and then we pushed one so we get similar stack which is given in input so it does not solve this problem we have to insert in such a way that first now when when we popped out all the values of a stack it is empty so we pushed first we the stack is em empty so let me show them so the stack is empty so we take this value and push 4 now when the next value comes we have to pop out this 4 and then we have to push 3 and then 4 when uh, 2 comes we have to pop 4 and 3 then we have to push 2 then 3 then 4 when 1 comes similarly we have to pop out all the values and then we have to push 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and in this way uh, the stack is reverse so let's visualize all these steps so let's start from the first method and first we will see how uh, we pop all the values of a stack how it will be put in a call stack and then we will see uh, the next method then how we are taking each values one by one and how we are putting them at the bottom of the stack now imagine we have given a stack of integers so it means uh, we get some values in a stack and we have to reverse them so whenever we do the recursive call we have to first define the base condition and the base condition is if a stack is empty simply return from this method calls else pop the values and put them in a tamp variable and then call this method recursively and once uh, we get the value of this uh, this method call then we execute uh, this statement so generally you have seen in a function when in a function when another function is defined and uh, and after this function some statement is written until we get the value of the function call uh, the statement is not executed you can imagine like this and now let's see what happens when this method uh, calls recursively so let's draw a call stack and uh, now let's take uh, this stack as an argument now stack is not empty so this condition is skipped and then we pop this value so one is the uh, is the last element which is 
pushed in a stack so it will uh, it it is the first value to be popped out so one is popped out and then this method is called it what it means so this method will not be executed until we get the value of this method call so from this statement onward this will be goes in a pause state you can imagine like this so in tamp we get one and in next method call so one is popped out again in next method call we get the value of tamp two so in short form i am writing as t so t is two and two is popped out and again we call it recursively then we get three so three is popped out and uh, we again call them recursively and uh, stack is uh, still not empty so we popped out four we popped out four and we call them recursively now this time when call uh, when we call this method so this time after four is popped out it is empty so we return from this method call so we get the answer of this statement so what it means is so this call stack is this function call is removed from the call stack it is popped out from the call stack and now we execute this statement which is insert at last so where we pass a stack and tamp so after popped out all the values the stack is empty so all the values are popped out so stack is empty and we pass the value 4 so the value of temp is 4 so it will be hold in a call stack and now let's see this method so the base condition is if a stack is empty so if a stack is empty simply push the value so th this value and return from this method call else if it is not empty so we popped out the values and we recursively call this method until this condition is satisfied and once we get the answer then this statement will be executed so let's start with four so stack is empty we push four now and we return from this method call so this statement is already uh, popped out from the call stack we get uh, we reach at this method call and so we get the answer of this reverse so we reach at this statement and in this statement given a stack so in a stack we have one variable for uh, one value four and the value of tamp which is three now a stack is not empty so what we do is we first popped out four so four is popped out and then we call this method so now we get we put so this statement is also this calls uh, call stack uh, this call is also popped from call stack and now a uh, new call stack is pushed so in which the value of top element is 4 and we call this method so when 4 is popped out so when we reach at this statement so we push 3 now 3 is pushed and we return so when we return we get the answer of this function call so we execute this statement and in which we push the value of top element and the value of top element is 4 so we push this element so 3 is inserted at bottom and then 4 now both the uh, now we reach at this call stack so we get the answer of reverse so we re execute this statement and uh, we pass stack and the value 2 so again this time this statement is not true so we popped first we popped 4 so again imagine we push them in a call stack 4 so this is also popped out so 4 and then again we call recursively so you can imagine 4 and 3 is popped out and then uh, when a stack is empty we popped uh, we push 2 when we push 2 so we have to take care of this function call so we reach at this statement and we insert 3 then this call call is removed from the call stack and we reach at this uh, call stack and we insert we push 4 similarly 
when one is passed so this will be removed and when one will passed we do the same operation we first pop out popped out all the elements from a stack then we push one then two then three and then four so in this way all the elements of a stack is reverse and we have reversed a stack using recursion so now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is o n and if we are talking about uh, the call stack if we are considering the space of a call stack then definitely it is o1 but we are not using any extra data structure we are not using any loop construct for while etc we simply reverse a stack using a recursion now let's see the main method so in main method i am constructing i am putting a value in a stack and then I'm calling this method reverse and I have printed uh, the stack before reversing it and after reversing it. So let's run this code and see its output. So if I run this code, so you can uh, see uh, the elements are 4, 3, 2, 1 and once we reverse, so it is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it, it, it is like this 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this is the original stack and once we reverse, so it is 4, 3, 2, and one so that's it for uh, this video tutorial and for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video